안녕하세요 여러분 저는 이츠카자이라고 해요 난 2019년의 동안이나 한국 교실에 한국어를 공부했는데 아직 자신 없어요 그래서 이제 영어로 할게요 <웃음> 시작하자. 2019 that I started going to a Korean school in Pasig called Hangul Gyoshil. Where we use the free government textbook APS topic. Currently, since I'm in level 2B class in King Sejong Balanga Institute, we are using the Sejong Hakdang 4 book. And if you like to know which book is suitable for you, you can take the level test in King Sejong's website. Unlike before, nowadays there's a lot of Korean YouTubers and foreigners who started their YouTube channels with English and Korean subtitles. You may also view those Korean language learning YouTube channels. But I personally think finding a channel that you find fun and interesting is better to sustain your watch time. Personally, I watch varied contents from webtoons like Jaltoon, vlogs, and contents from Korean media companies. structured approach in learning the Korean language before I take the talktomeinkorean.com where you can find bite-sized lessons, quizzes, and podcasts as well. You're listening to Talk To Me In Korean. Nowadays, I try to challenge myself with howtostudykorean.com to learn more vocabularies and grammars since they provide thorough explanations through various examples. This, if you want to learn Korean by watching Korean dramas or movies on Netflix, I suggest using this Chrome extension called Language Reactor. This extension loads both Korean and English subtitles side by side, and you can even click on each word or syllable to know its definition. take the topic exam, I highly suggest downloading this app called Funpick. This app works in numerous ways specifically designed for Korean language learners preparing for the topic exam. In here, you can take previous exams like mock tests, quizzes, picture matching games, set your target level, and determine your current level. Head start, guys. I'm giving away my unique code KSTYLEFPIC28 to get 10,000 Yopchun coins so you can unlock special relics. You can also check out my previous videos to know more about the functions of this app. in learning Korean, with these four main sources, you can expand and determine which works best for you. You honestly don't have to memorize these four resources since you constantly encounter them in your everyday life. The most important thing that I say also to myself is to keep on consuming and immersing yourself with Korean and its culture. In that way, you can prepare for topic and along the way, appreciate Korean culture. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more career-related content. 
안녕